Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zunky, and welcome to another top 10 video. I haven't made a top 10 video in a while, so it was time. In this video, I decided to do a suggestion that quite a few people have given me. From what I could gather, most people wanted to see the 10 absolute fastest ways to train XP in the game, and I thought about that. However, pretty much all of them would be summoning and construction if I decided to do that. So what I decided to do instead was the 10 fastest skills in the game if you could train with absolutely any method. There are no holds barred, so even even though a couple of these methods no one would ever use in the actual game because they're just way too expensive, these are still listed just as a theoretical fastest XP per hour that you could get in a skill if you're looking to train it the fastest way possible. The only other thing I have to say is there's no bonus XP taken into account as that would have just made the calculations really, really screwy and completely thrown off the XP per hour. So I just decided to go straight up with the normal XP that you get from doing these methods. The first method up on this list is fire making with elder logs. And this is actually one of the cheapest ways that you can get ridiculous XP per hour in this game. There are about 460 k an hour because you burn roughly a thousand and four hundred and sixty eight xp each at least at the max guild bank which is where i was burning them because it's very very convenient there's a bonfire directly next to a bank chest it just works you don't ever have to burn your own logs to make your own bonfire so this is where I'd recommend to go if you do have access to the max skill. And like I said, the yellow logs are fairly cheap at the moment. They're only about 9 GP per XP, which is comparable to some skills like Fletching Broad Arrows, where it's incredible XP, but compared to a lot of other viable skills such as Herbal or Prayer, it's really not that expensive. Still, you can just burn magic logs for not that much slow over an XP rate and save a ton of money. So I wouldn't recommend training with Elder Logs. However, they are pretty ridiculous if you choose to do so. Next on the list is Glacors, which are 525k magic XP per hour, at least the way that I was killing them. And of course, the Glacors XP rate has been very, very controversial over the time. So if you can kill them fast in this, just expect even more magic or defense XP because, of course, you can set your magic XP to defense instead. Glacors did receive a health buff not too long ago where they now have 10k more HP per Glacor, and that slowed down the kill time of Glacors a little bit. However, this is still by far the best way to train just straight up magic magic or defense if that's all you care about in the entire game well better than other methods such as the abyss and they're also fairly profitable as well depending on your luck of course with boot drops their regular drops aren't amazing but you can make a decent amount three possibly even four mil an hour if you're getting really lucky here with the steadfast and all that so I would recommend training glacers this is probably my favorite method to train personally out of everything on this list Next up on the list is cooking, making wines, which are a very, very expensive way to train cooking. I would not recommend anyone to train this way just because it costs so much money and cooking is a very fast skill normally and not very expensive if you just cook rocktail or something like that. However, if you do choose to make wines, the XP rate is absolutely ridiculous and this is one of the things in game that benefited most from the fairly recent presets that were put into the game because they sped up the XP per hour about like 25%. It was crazy. As your cooking level goes up, you'll fail with creating wines less and less often making them better and better xp up to around 800k xp per hour with no bonus xp at level 99 this next method on the list is something that people are never going to be able to do in rs unless some serious out prices are changed in the future but this is crafting onyxes unfortunately this is never going to be possible for anyone to do because the onyxes cost over a mil each, and that's never going to change because of their alk price. However, if you were to craft them, it's over 800k crafting XP per hour. Unfortunately, because of GE limits, and just because of the sheer cost it would take to stockpile a large amount of onyxes, unfortunately no one's ever going to be able to do this unless someone had like a 500 bill bank and could bank that many onyxes over a period of many years. But it is something really cool to think about, and it would be crazy if one day a gem like this was released and you could train crafting this fast. Next up on the list is Dungeon engineering which can be 1 mil xp per hour or more if you are with a good team and doing high warped floors at a high dungeoneering level obviously this isn't something that everyone can do because you do have the requirement of having to be good at dungeoneering yourself and having four friends that are also good at dungeoneering as well as having the high dungeoneering level but this is very very possible i myself who am not the greatest dungeoneer have managed to get close to this xp rate in the past while doing the warps and it's pretty crazy how fast this skill is considering it's completely free the next method up here is another extremely expensive method which is frost dragon bones it's possible to get over one mil xp per hour if you are using a yak bank presets and have a house set up so it's very very quick 
Quick to Bank. And Frost Dragon Bones are currently the fastest prayer XP in the game. However, maybe in the future there will be an even faster bone release. There have been a couple new types of prayer methods released recently with the Elf City Prayer, which I myself am a huge, huge fan of, as well as the new ashes that are dropped from Edamu's in Dungeoneering, which can be a fast way of training prayer as well. However, Frost Dragon Bones are still king, still the way to go, and if you're someone who has a lot of money, is looking to train prayer very, very fast, and can also pay, put up with the patience that it takes to buy all of the frost dragon bones because unfortunately you do have to put up with some pretty harsh GE limits if you're looking to train your prayer up. You are in luck because this is a great method for you. Next up here is Dragon Darts, which is currently the fastest and also probably the most expensive way of training Fletching in the entire game. However, there have been a couple monsters added recently which do drop Dragon Dart tips. Muzzpuzz is a good example of those, so this has caused the price of Dragon Darts to go down a little bit. Previously, they are only available through Dragon Implants, so there wasn't really a big supply of them in-game. But Dragon Darts, if you can afford to stockpile up, are just ridiculous Fletching XP per hour, and definitely the way to go if you have a large amount of money and want to train fletching at an extremely fast clip. We're all the way up to the three fastest skills in the game now, so we should be seeing some pretty ridiculous XP rates now, and number three is making overloads. This does not take into consideration the XP that you get from creating the extremes or the time it takes to make the extremes. This is strictly just making the overloads straight up, well over a mil XP per hour. Bank presets helped out Herblore so much and made overloads, again, a just ridiculous amount of XP per hour, and they are very, very worth doing, not just for the XP, but also for the insane PVM benefits, and with a lot of those newer overloads that have come out with the Crystal Flasks recently, overloads are in a higher demand than ever. The second fastest way of training XP in the game is Geyser Titans, which are 9 million summoning XP per hour without any type of bonus XP. Obviously, it takes a very, very long time to gather all of the blue charms necessary to make this, so it's not going to be something you can just go and do whenever you want, but once you do have all of those blue charms gathered up, you can just go to Taverly, make the pouches, and then turn the pouches into scrolls and continue selling water talismans to the dude there, and then buying them back into your inventory so they're unnoted, and continuing making those Geyser Titan pouches is just crazy XP per hour. It's kind of ridiculous how something like this exists. Unfortunately, the best XP per pouch in the game, which is called Talon Beast, you cannot do with the selling to the shop method in Taverly. It does not work because the secondary ingredient is not tradable, so we have to go with the second fastest pouch that you can make, which is Geyser Titans. But if you could do this with Talon Beast, it would be well over 10 mil summoning XP per hour, and that would be crazy. The number one fastest way of training any skill in the entire game is Demonic Thrones at 17 million construction XP per hour. I can safely say that no one is ever going to train this way because it costs about 200 billion GP to reach 200 mil construction by training this way. However, if you did, it would only take you about 15 hours to go from 99 construction to 200 million, which is just crazy if you try to wrap your mind around that. Demonic Thrones cost bank. Obviously, it costs about 24 million GP just to make one Demonic Throne, and then you have to make a lot of those to gain a large amount of XP. However, there is no way to train faster without bonus XP factored in. This is the fastest it's going to get, and it's just a crazy method to think about. So that's about it for this top 10 video. I hope you guys enjoyed. The one disclaimer that I do have to say is, unfortunately, I was not able to test all these methods myself because I just don't have enough money to do that and test stuff like Demonic Thrones or even some of the stuff that are, is really, really expensive like geyser titans so i did get some of these xp rates off the internet so hopefully they are accurate and from what i could tell for the most part it did seem like the people who are posting this stuff were doing a good job of testing it and all that i just wanted to thank you guys for giving me the suggestion for this top 10 video and don't forget to leave your suggestion for what you would like the next one to be down in the comments below and i will read them and i will make a decision based on which ones i think look the coolest but that's about it for this video. I'll see you guys next time, tomorrow, with the next one, and farewell.